Alright, welcome back, friends, fans, and fam, to Pokemon Day Celebration, where I will be playing new Pokemon Snap, where, my gosh, I have not played this in forever, because Legends Arceus has been taking up my entire time. There was a time I spent way too much time on this game trying to find these shortcuts, and trust me when I say... I have not found them all, but it's Pokemon Day. I'm striving to find things to record at this point. So, here are the very few shortcuts I have found. The first place I'm going to start off is... Um, I guess Sweltering Sand. Oh, no, sorry. Barren Badlands. Wrong one. So, we're going to go there, I believe, at daytime. I figured it out. I always thought there was something that had to do with that flowing fountain. Not the first one, the second one. I was partially white. Right, not white, right. Here's what you need to do. Good luck. Oh, wait, I might be on the wrong one. Maybe. No, I think I'm on the right one. You see that flower over there? You need to hit it in time. By hitting it, the rock will fall sooner. But I gotta restart because I didn't do it right. So, let's try that again. This is try on air, folks. Maybe if I zoom in, maybe I'll have a better chance of aiming properly, but I doubt it. There we go! Also, uh, Minior just landed over there. I didn't expect that. But now that opens up the path. I almost missed it over here. I'll take a picture of Tepig, because of course I would. Picture of Scolopy, because of course I would. But what's gonna happen now? Well, I did get to see this one part. Uh... We are going right towards this water spout, which I kept throwing apples and aluminum orbs and all kinds of stuff. But here's the thing! It blasts you up! Onto this cliff face. And that... That is how we access a new area. Well done, Game Freak. Why did I say Game Freak? Oh! Okay, so we got some Torchic over here. Those are the same three Torchic that I saw at one point in one of the caves. Something must have happened to scare them. I'm not sure what yet, but something happened, I'm sure of it. Oh, wow. Hmm, there's so much to look at, like that Salazzle over there. Hi. Oh, there's Tepig jumping. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm not gonna speed things up right now because I want to just check out everything. I think that's the same rock rough that I ended up helping in one of the previous areas. What was that noise? It says to run the scan. It says to run the scan. I'm sorry I'm distracted. I'm very distracted right now. Oh! Scolipedes! Alright. Oh, am I going back this way? Also, why are those Scolipedes he- Oh, hello. Did I miss something? Those are some very neat Scolipedes. I mean, it definitely feels like I missed something. Okay, there's a Tepig up here. Yoo-hoo! Tepig! 
What are you doing? What are you doing? This is the only one I'm gonna focus on right now. Okay, well. Throwing fluff food isn't going to help. Oh, there he goes. I don't know if I activate. Oh, there we go. Good job. You did, Tepig. Now what? Okay. Alright. You know what? <laughs> I don't care what else is happening. Maybe a little bit. I want to follow this Tepig. Hello? Okay, there's the Torchic again. I mean, I know that the Torchic are bothered by... What am I looking for? This again? Look, I'm pretty sure it's an Onyx that is making these holes, but... Other than that, I'm not getting anything... Hello? Oh, that was like a mock, I think. I know whether or not it does anything. That if I scare away the Lycan Rock, the Torchic come out and just happily run across the plane. But other than that, I don't know. I haven't seen the Onyx jump on camera. So there's still a lot of what ifs. And to be honest, I didn't find exactly everything I wanted to. I'm gonna spoil this. Zero Ore is in the game. I don't know where Zero Ore is, but he's in this game. I'm sure he's in this section. So I was really, really, really hoping to find a Zero Ore. That did not happen. I don't know if there's like another shortcut. Maybe one that I can take at night time. I guess it's worth investigating, because why not at this point? Yeah, that's not good. I'm not editing any of this, by the way. But I'll be honest, I think there's another video I've yet to post. Hmm, if that's the case, I may want to post that video before posting this one. I'll just have to see. But I think those are the only three pictures I think is worthy. Especially the four-star jumping Tepig! It's jumping with all its might! Fantastic! You get bronze stars! Cause guess what? There's definitely something better than that. But you know what? Shouts to me for actually getting that shot. I could have easily nice missed one. that. Scolipede's not good enough there, even though that does look nice pretty work. cool. Nope, that wasn't a bear lichen rock. I should have known. Oh well. Oh, shoot, I haven't made it past research level three yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be sure to do that when I'm not grinding on Legends Arceus. I don't know how long that's gonna take. There we go. Overhanging boot by riding a geyser. I almost said something completely different. There is a new request, so I will check that out quickly. Just for the fun of it. It may even have to do with Zero Ore. Let's just see That's what right. the hint is. <laughs> a brave leap. Oh, that's the one she wanted me to get a pitch of. I thought this might be dangerous at first, but then I realized that Tepe can probably make the jump. You should cheer for it too. But I did. But I did! But I did! But I did! Dang it, game. I just got that picture! Man. Man. I'm salty about that one. What is that? <laughs> oh, okay. It's out there, guys. That Psyduck is out there. Cool. Okay. 
So, for the next and probably only other hidden route that I've found, we are going to Shiver Snowfields. Technically, there is one I found in the Alderway Cave. It's really not much, but I could show it anyways, just because. I'll explain that one later. But I already showed you a path in Shiver Snowfields. But there is another one to take. But to my surprise, you don't find it at day on level 3. You find it at level 2 at night. This really surprised me. But that is a thing. I think... I'm not sure how this works. I'm still trying to figure it out. I thought level 3 shortcuts could only be taken at level 3. But this one section here has proved me wrong. So, if these mighty Anna could get out of the way... No, I'm not scared of you. I am trapped inside a moving orb. <laughs> I can show you that I don't need to do anything. Usually, and that's why I want to show this video first, I would be looking for an Alolan Sand Slash. Technically, like, right here. But not exactly. But because I've already activated the shortcut at daytime, I could just go at night. And that, my friends, is where the other shortcut lies. Because unlike daytime, it, it's no longer a snow field, or whatever I was trying to say. Hi there. Hi there. Are you... I should, probably should have got caught that jump. Uh, it's not a snowstorm. I mean, it might not help if I bother this bomb of snow. Wow, he's sleepy. But see that area right there? That's where the shortcut is. So... Okay, fine. Don't wake up. I can... Okay. Did I do something wrong? Okay, apparently there was something I didn't do correctly. Hmm. Guess it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Uh, why can't I quit research now? Do I need to get to the inn? Okay, fine. I'll get to the inn, but... I'm telling you, there's a shortcut over there. I'm only doing this so I can get a few of those pictures. Is this new? I don't think this is new. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. Well, that's a closer yellow bird. So there's that, I guess. I guess that's also part of the shortcut? Maybe? Nice. I'm also going to show you something that I can do in order to get another certain picture to show up. There we go. Oh, I messed it up. I'm supposed to stop the bomb of snow. Because these cute little spiels are blocking the Piplup race here. So, uh, the Piplups are very upset about that. And the Lowland Vulpix doesn't like confrontation. I'm making up my own story as I go. Regardless... I didn't exactly get what I wanted out of that. So when I discovered this shortcut, I did something by pure instinct Hello. that made it so I could get through that area. And I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> okay, this one's good. What about Crab Bombable? 
Well, anything might look a little better than the sleet snow one. But at the same time, he's not facing forward, so I won't be surprised if this one doesn't get the points. What was the three star? Nah, I can tell that one's better. What about this one? That probably won't be it either, but you never know. So I will check those two photos quickly, and then I'm going to, on camera, somehow figure out what I did differently to access the shortcut I did. So I promise you it's there. Nice work. I would not even mention it if I didn't know that it was nice there. Work. I just keep trying things until something sticks. That's the only thing I can do. So we're going back to snowfields at night. I'm going to try some different things than whatever I was doing. No, I will not look at your request right now. That way I can see what this other shortcut is and you guys know how to access it as well. I feel bad doing this now. Considering I already thought I was going to be able to get it done. One thing that's interesting, I'm not sure if I could do anything with this, is Piplup looked like he wanted to talk to Delibird or get a present from him or something. But these dumb old mutts kind of ruined that. By the way, if you could move. Yeah, chase the fur it. That's fine. If you can move, that would be great. So I'm trying to get somewhere quickly. Oops. Almost messed that up. Speeding through. Maybe that was it. Maybe all I had to do was... Okay. Oh. oh, that did something over. Oh, Frost Lass. Oh, wow. I do remember that. So is Frost Lass going to... There she goes. That's what it was. That's what it was. All right. It's as simple as that. Certainly much simpler than what I had to do to get through that one jungle area. So what do we have? Ooh! Wow! A cavern made of ice! Oh, is this? It's so pretty! Oh, this is the place! Yes! This is where I found that flower! Nice! I think. Maybe this is a different spot than that, but... Where are you? Okay, cub food, I think. Oh, the ruins! Take a picture of that! I need to find more ruins! Man, there's so much to always look at. Yes, ruins. Guys, I already took a picture. Wow, that is a very zoned out what happened? Wait, what's happening? Ooh! Of course! Of course! That's the new poke! Oh, and the dugong! Oh my gosh, this is exciting, guys. This is exciting. I love this. I love this. This is the stuff I live for. This is why I come back to this game over and over again. This is such a good game. This surpasses the original Pokemon Snap by miles and miles and miles! Because there's so much to look at! I love it! That's why it's disappointing when I find a shortcut where it barely is anything. Which is kind of what I'm about to see. Or show for the cave. Ooh, a voice! Yes, a voice! 
Oh my gosh, I love this Pokemon. This is probably my most favorite fossil type Pokemon. Yes, look this way. Oh, you are pretty. You nice. are so pretty. <laughs> I haven't geeked out this much since I knew Superior and Gudra were in the game. You were so pretty. Oh, I love that. That was the best part. Take that, Pokemon Unite. That's how you surprise me. That's how you catch my attention. Take notes. You won't. That was satisfying. I'm so happy about that. Yes, sir. Mirror, I photographed a lot of new Pokemon. There were way more than I thought there would be. Okay, let's go through the list. One after another. Uh, I don't think I got too much with Piplup. I guess I'll submit this one. Crabomable. One star. Hmm. I guess this one because it's closer. <laughs> the Obama Snow is probably the one Vito was just talking about. Terrific timing, by the way. The Hidden Frostless? Okay, I didn't know about that. Bad picture of Weavile. Okay, that's a three star, but that ain't gonna top the one I have. What about Jinx? Mm, no, none of these look that good with Jinx. Maybe this one. I wish I got it more in center frame. But that one might be a good one star. Cub Chew, not Cub Fu. Cub Chew! Uh, not close enough. <laughs> sure, let's try out Zonked Out Vanillix. Uh, which one? I like both of them. I feel like the side view will get more... We'll get more points, I feel. That's the only Avalug pitch I took? Dang. I mean, there was a Jinx on top of Avalug. I guess I just didn't photograph that. Very, very typical pitch of Dugong. I will work on that off screen. Uh, let's see. <laughs> It's like he's doing a dance. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Hmm. This has more animation to it. So I want to say that this one would get more points. Not a good mama swine. <laughs> Both of them, but... That one's not going to pass. Snom will probably get better points. This one, probably not, but I'll go for it. And finally, a brand new Ancient Ruins photograph to show off. Let's go! Let's go. Not the game, let's go. Oh, it's Pippa. How adorable. But that's only a gold star. What about Crabomable? That one Star Foes new. It seems like it's on its way somewhere. Obama Snow? It seems to be trying to imitate you with Blizzard. That's not what I see, but. There we go. That was only Gold Star, but that's a start. Frostlass! You got it at just the right moment. It seems like it's in its natural state. That one is. No, it's not better. But I like it anyways. Jinx! Nice work. Yes, but it's still only a gold star. Vanillex? Nice work. Okay, the pose is good, size is good, placement. Yep! Alright! Zonked out Vanillus wins. Sure, why not? Next is Aurorus. That's a new discovery. This shows how its fins change color with its mood. Perfect timing. You did wonderfully. 
Yes, get those diamonds. Platinum. Platinum first try. Love it. A new discovery. Nice work. Next is Avalug. It's on its way somewhere. That's a gold star. Eh, I thought it would be silver. A new discovery. Dugong's probably not gonna get much. Nice work. It seems calm. And that is a silver star. What about Bear Tick? Is his behavior worth studying? Oh, yes. Those are some good stars. So, there we go. It helps that I got a second one just sitting there. Snob! Nice On its way somewhere. Size, direction, placement. Gold star. <laughs> My gosh, Platinum is so hard to get. Except that I got two Platinums. The last time I went out in the cold. Nice work. Uh, Delibird. Only silver. That's fair. A new discovery. These are some ancient ruins from Jervice Island. Excellent. Fine, aren't they incredible? I get the feeling we're drawing closer to the center of an ancient mystery. I don't know if anything's significant's gonna happen once I get all the photos, but. For completionist sakes, I'm gonna do it anyways. Cause I am hooked to this game. Like I'm hooked to freaking Legends Arceus. New record! Put it in the books. Good stuff. It has almost been 30 minutes since I started recording. There are some new requests, so... I want to make this quick, but in case you couldn't tell by how much I was geeking out about a voice, I want some good pictures. So... Hmm, no, the brightness kind of ruins the mood, so let's keep it normal, I think. Mood colors. <laughs> Ain't that a mood. Uh, I might fix it up later, I don't know. I just wanted a close-up picture of a voice. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But I will get... Maybe one more. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get one more. This one, I'll... Hmm. Well, that's not bad. I kind of like that. I just thought brightening it up would be better, but you know what? I kind of like the dark. Let's go give it... Let's do that. It gives it a majestic feel, I feel. At least in my eyes. Okay, I'm done. I'm done geeking out about that. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was the best part so far of this video and so far today for my streams. Will I be able to bypass that? We will find out. I heard that a special Pokemon appears when the sky is shining. What do you think it could be? Okay, I know how to do the shining sky. But... Hmm... That's confusing because the place that I make the sky shine... I can't access when I take that path. So I don't know. Maybe I didn't hit that flower. Did I even take a picture of the flower? The Illumina phenomenon orb thing? I don't know. I'll have to look back at that later. But for now, I'm going to check these things quickly. 
The sky was totally clear until a blizzard suddenly happened. Oh, Obama snow was behind it all. Ooh, I like that frame. Thanks for figuring that out. Beyond the wall snow. Something went to that snow during the blizzard. I think it was a Pokemon. It was Fosslass. I didn't think anything could go through there, so I was really surprised. What's really surprising is how easy it is to do. Powers combine! Jinx seemed to be wishing for something, but it also seems to be having trouble all on its own. Maybe if it had a bit more power, it could do something. Alright, I think I got an idea on how to do that. Sheer face. Have you ever seen the wilder side of Avalug? Try observing it carefully. That is not a good hint. Shades of a voice. A voice's fins change color depending on its mood. I just did that! Dang it! Fine, I'll do it later again. It's fine. Even though it doesn't sound like it's fine to me. Alright, so we're going to take a quick detour to the cave. But I guess I'm going to try one other thing. I can't promise anything's going to come out of it. I just want to showcase it. And if I feel like it's special enough, I will post a video later about it. But for right now, I'm going to show you the one and only one place that I found that is an alternative path. Don't get too excited, but it is a legit path. It's just not a long one or one that's going to get you too much of anything. But I probably will show you a special little uh, four-star photo that's attached to that path. <laughs> Glad I saw that apple falling. So to access the path that I'm thinking of in question, you do not go down the path where there's all those crystals. Although I have to be honest, I feel like the other shortcut I am trying to get is going to be on that path. The path of crystals, I mean. But we're going to ignore the Noibex over here. And we're going to go over here. The trick is to get these crowbats not only over here to just take off, but also this one up here. And the way to do that, play the flute. Gengar scares the crowbat, it flies off. And after that, for some reason, I don't rem I don't remember this section. Huh. But for some reason, now that there are crowbats here, I guess they just come from that area. Now I can go this way. Please go this way. Please go this way. Gang, please. Okay. Whew. That was close. I almost messed up. There's a lot more crowbat over here, I can say that much. Uh, as for that special picture, there was a time when I took a picture of, I don't, I will kid you not, a Magikarp. So, where is said Magikarp? Right there! That's where the magic happens. Use the Illuma Orb to, uh, get that Magikarp to flop its way. To a certain Pokemon that I love. And Gudra will whip it with its tail. I think he sent the Magikarp on its way. I don't fo Oh, there he is. Alright. So I think the Gudra is actually helping, because Gudra waved to the Magikarp. But that is a four-star picture if you can get a good pose of Gudra in the middle of doing that. What was it? And I did get that picture because it is platinum. But I digress. Let's just... I doubt this picture's gonna... I doubt this picture's gonna be as good. Let me just go through these quickly. 
No, I can tell that one's not going to be as good. What about Kobat? No, I am not satisfied with any of those pictures. Somehow, Cog Pro Gunk Pitcher. Uh, we could try that one. There's a Geodude over there. Now that I know that there's Geodude over there, I should probably do something about that. But here is my special snapshot. Plus, I took a few other things as well. <laughs> um... I guess I'll go for this one. I don't think it's gonna be as good. <laughs> what about this picture? Is this a good two-star magic art picture? Let's find out. It's a valuation time! No on the Noibat. Nice work. No on the Sable Eye. Gudra. Magic Harp. Nice work. Also a no. So I did nothing. I got nothing done at that point. But it is a pass that I haven't shown, mm -hmm. so I figured why not. I think there's also a path on the first level. I don't know how I accessed it, but it's really not that interesting. But, you know what, at some point, if I can figure out how I did it, I might come back and showcase that. Now, excuse me if I always showed this, but I want to show you how to find a ho -ho. Because the picture I saw by itself threw me in all the wrong directions. So I am just going to end this video off by showing you exactly where to take a picture of ho -O. At least the first time you're looking for one. I have yet to get anything but one star photo, but that's why I want to try something off camera that I may post later to YouTube. I probably should skip that. Shanks, no! Perfect. <laughs> well, there's Typhlosion. It's not a Zooian, but... I still like you. I don't know if you win anywhere, but... Let's fast forward this. When I say I haven't found a way to get anything but a one-star photo of ho -Ho, you'll see why me. Ignore everything going on here. Look to the sky where this awesome Monferno is. I'm gonna be distracted a little bit. Look towards the sky somewhere and you should find there it is. A glittering bird of brilliance. I don't know if that's the only time I could see ho -O, but uh, I'm just gonna keep looking this way until we enter the cave and then... Oh, there was something over there. It wasn't ho -O, that's for sure. But, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching, but there are still plenty of other shortcuts. What are you doing, Aerodactyl? But there are still plenty of other shortcuts I have yet to find. Well, maybe a few. And at some point, hopefully, maybe, I will find those shortcuts. But till then, I'm just looking, I'm just hoping, I don't know, this is why I try things. That doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to work. 
What are you doing? <laughs> I should stop this. This has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later.